Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Brian sounds like she is Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, hey, Robert Livesay sent in this picture uh, today from Grand Lake, the discharge, as they were releasing water, and you can see just how much being released up at Grand Lake. And boy, we really need to release that water as the lake level's very high. Grand Lake's still nine feet above uh, average today. Ulaga was 11 feet above, Hudson 16 feet. But look at Fort Gibson and 10 killer, 27 and 34 feet respectively. And you fall a 13 feet above average. All right, turning attention to tomorrow night and the countdown is on. Two, one, and bingo blast off. We go into 2016. Midnight temperature tomorrow night. That's cold, 29 degrees. Wear the heavier coat. I will not go sleeveless tomorrow night. None of us will. 25 at 8 a.m. Partly cloudy in the morning on Friday. All right, here's the radar satellite picture. And there we continue with this very El Nino looking pattern of that fast, swift moving uh, southern jet stream moving out of the Pacific. The northern jet stream now blocking a little bit here with high pressure in a storm out around Salt Lake City. But notice the storm path is north of Tulsa. And so anything organized will stay north of us the next several days and we should dry out. A lot of times jet streams will form on the discontinuity of the temperatures where it's cold to warm. So Lamar at 15, 32 at Ponca City. So it stands the reason that our strongest jet stream winds are up there to the northwest. And it also stands the reason that the coldest air will remain bottled up there to the northwest as we see temperatures tomorrow warm into the 40s and then back into the 40s again Friday afternoon after a cold start. So there's that very cold air up to the north into the northwest. And if I put future track into motion, you'll notice nothing organized headed our way. Yeah, we have some low gray stratus clouds to start the day tomorrow. We'll get back to some sunshine in the afternoon. And then 2016 should start off sunny uh, with temperatures in the lower 40s, just kind of a cool north wind headed our way on Friday. Today was cool, 41, six degrees below average. 30 this morning, and that was two degrees above average in the morning. The record high is 77, 1951. This is a live picture from Bristow. That camera is working again, so we're thankful for that. We can bring you those live pictures from Bristow. And this is the tower camera, and indeed we have almost slate gray skies overhead tonight. So the temperature at 35 with a calm wind and a dew point around 29 would lead me to believe that the overnight low is probably not going to drop much below about 30 degrees or around 29 perhaps by seven o'clock in the morning. So yeah, cold and gray to start off with. We could fall as low as 24 at Bartlesville, but likely about 27 at Claremore. In Tahlequah down to 24, Sepulpa's down to 29, and Shakota's around 27 for the overnight low tonight. And then Holdenville at 31, and Poto around 27. Then during the day tomorrow, here we go. Cold clouds in the morning, about 28 to 29 degrees. Noontime temperature barely touching 40 degrees. 42 to 44 tomorrow afternoon with northwest winds at 5 to 10. A cold night headed our way and then a heavier coat needed for ringing in the new year. 41 in Bartlesville and Coffeeville tomorrow. 42 in Claremore. 44 at Pryor and Grove. Pawnee up to 40, Muskogee 46, Wagoner up to 45, Okmulgee around 44, and Shakota at about 46 degrees. You fall is up to 47 for that high temperature under mostly cloudy skies with a north wind at 5 to 10. Holdenville reaches 45 degrees. Then 25 Friday morning, 42 Friday afternoon, 48 on Saturday. Sunday close to 50 with a west wind. And then we've got Monday and Tuesday dry with temperatures warming back close to 50 degrees. And then Wednesday, we increase the cloud cover and bring us a 20% chance for some rain. All right.